Okay, we're here today on the 2nd of January talking to Marjorie Harris on the subject of the Holy Ghost or speaking in tongues particularly. So, I'd like to ask you what is the Holy Ghost, first of all? And then your own experience and anything else you'd like to add. Okay, you can go. Okay. Uh, when I was saved, I was taught uh, that the next experience after salvation was receiving the Holy Spirit. The Bible says when we receive Jesus, we get the Holy Spirit. That's true. Jesus comes, lives in our heart by the Holy Spirit. But then, like in the book of Acts, uh, the disciple Jesus said, Wait in the upper room till you receive power from on high, and that he would baptize us with the Holy Spirit. It's not water baptism, but baptized in the Holy Spirit. So, with the Holy Spirit. So, I sought the Lord, and I prayed, and I think maybe somebody in church prayed with me, and I got like a little phrase, maybe like a little sentence. And someone told me to keep practicing that, and God would give me more. So I would go down by a creek bank where we were living at that time, and I would say, okay, Holy Spirit, I'm going to use these words. I ask you to give me more. And nothing happened. It was really very boring. And so then we had a conference. Uh, A man of God at that time came, and uh, he brought with him a group of people, and many of them were definitely filled with the Holy Spirit. And the sister came over to me and she said, Margie, would you like to receive the Holy Spirit with speaking in tongues? And I said, yes, but I I have only gotten about a little sentence. And she says, well, I'm going to pray with you. And she says, I want you to try to imitate my tongue just to start getting your, you used to saying something that's not English. And I really felt the presence of God over me. And she started praying in her tongue. <clears throat> And she says, it's like priming a pump, like you put the old-fashioned pump you put water in to get the water to come up from the well. And so I grew up in the farm with the old-fashioned pump, and that made a lot of sense to me. So she started praying in her tongue, and I started imitating her tongue. I just, what I thought she was saying, and I just started speaking, and pretty soon this well spring of the Holy Spirit came up and I started speaking so fast in fact I could not speak almost as fast in your own tongue in my own no in my heavenly heavenly language it came so fast bubbled up out of our innermost being will spring uh, wa- living waters Absolutely. and that's what I experienced I just I don't know how long I spoke for maybe 15 minutes even I was just so lost in God mm. and totally shocked that this well came out of my mouth this language this heavenly language to God and in <clears throat> Corinthians 14 it says when we speak in the tongue we are speaking to God and not to man and it's worship. It says we give praise. We give perfect praise when we praise the Lord in our tongue. And the Bible says in Romans 8 that we don't know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit will help us as we pray in the Spirit. We pray according to the will of God. And soon after that, the same meeting, the leader the, over the meeting laid hands on me, and I was slain in the Spirit at the same time and had a vision of the Lord, all this light, I knew it was Jesus was appearing to me at that time. So the whole experience was very powerful to me, and I use my tongue as worship to the Lord, and I use my tongue in intercession, and I also use it in making war. When I feel in a time of temptation, I pray in my tongue, to get right through to God and I'm asking him for help because I may not know in my own English language how to express the need I have Mm. so I've been privileged to pray for many people to receive the Holy Spirit because people think like me that you have to remember all the words that come no you don't just let them flow I have been in times of prayer where I will be speaking in tongues and I feel I speak Chinese, um, Mm. Hebrew, all kinds of different language, Native American tongues. 
as I have spent a season of prayer, all these different tongues, and I believe we do get uh, naturally we get languages, earthly languages, mm. with our heavenly <coughs> language, because mm. it was cloven tongues of mm. fire that came on them in the Book of Acts. Mm. So, and I would tell people, just speak. You have to open your mouth. You have to be willing to say something silly. And I think that's what helped when I was trying to imitate her tongue. It helped me not be so afraid to look kind of silly saying something that was not English. And uh, we just do it by faith. But to realize it is given by God to empower us in Christ. That we have power against temptation, power in intercession, and power, I believe, to even tap into the wisdom of God in situations. And I tell people, just relax and just receive. If a person is truly saved, that is their right to get the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.